Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be filming my Sephora VIB haul and if you don't know what that is, basically twice a year Sephora has a 20% off sale if you are VIB or VIB Rouge. So let's get started. So the very first thing that was in my cart was the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca palette and I had been wanting this since the second I saw it in Sephora. I was like, what is that? Give it to me now. And then I saw the price tag and it was $60. Why you gotta do that to me, Kat Von D? Hmm? It's an investment, but I really do think that it's worth it because it comes with seven neutral shades in the middle. And then you get the entire rainbow in here. And they're a mixture of matte, like this is a matte shade, shimmer shade. I'm not the person who has a ton of colorful shadows like this or wears a lot of colorful shadows. And I think I'm just starting to get into it a little bit and I think this is perfect because you really do get every single color. And let me show you the pigment on these. First of all, this one, it's like I don't even want to touch it because it's going to stain my finger. Like yesterday I was watching it and my finger turned blue. Like, like what? Let's put it right here. Shut the front door and lock it. When I did this, I was literally, I was speechless. I was like, how does this work? But seriously though, my finger, it is going to be stained blue. Actually, where's my towel? Grab it off. I have a blue finger. So I don't know if this is gonna stain my eyelid when I use it, but I hope not. Actually, you know, it would be worth it because I don't even care. And then the shimmer shades, they're really good too. I haven't tried this palette out on my eyes yet at all, but oh my gosh, that one is so pretty. That would be so pretty for a, like a holiday smoky eye. Ooh, ideas. Again, this is a pretty penny to buy, but I did have my 20% off, so. All right, and the next thing that I had been wanting to try forever since I had heard everybody talking about it on YouTube, I got the Laura Mercier what is it? Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And then I just got the small size because I wasn't sure how much I was going to love it and my cart was getting a little expensive, TBH. But it comes with this really cute little, like, little puff. So you can just... Bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> Gosh, it's so cute. It seems kind of like one of those little, feels like a stuffed animal. So I don't know how that is going to work, but I will definitely try it out. And then this is just the little size. I was actually surprised at how small this is, considering this was $22 or something like that. And it's like, it's pretty much the size of the palm of my hand. Yeah, so like I said, I just got this because I was jumping on the old YouTube hype train. And you know what? I feel like this is really going to work because I have horrible creasing under my eyes. And I've tried pretty much every single powder. And nothing really works for me. So I'm hoping that this will make the situation a little bit better. But we will see. I will report back on that actually. The next thing that I ordered that I am so sad about because everybody raves about this and it's just, okay, I'll just show you. It is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the lightest shade because I am super duper pale. And this is the shade Snow. And let me tell you about this. Let me tell you a little story here. So as soon as I got this in the mail, I ripped it open and I was like, I have to see if it matches because it all, it was too good to be true and you know what? It was. I didn't know that these foundations run super yellow. Let me just show you. If you're a pale person, you understand the struggle right now because... Take a look at that. This is their lightest shade. I was super disappointed because I was so excited that it was going to be super amazing and 
be just the right color because they had released like a few more shades because people were complaining about the shade range being too small. I mean, I'm sure it's a great foundation, but it just it didn't match my skin. So warning to all my pasty people. The next thing that I had been debating for at least two months about getting was this Urban Decay Naked Concealer. And this is another thing that I had seen all over YouTube and I was like, oh my god, I don't know if it's going to be light enough for my skin and I don't know if it's going to... I don't know how it's going to wear on me. So basically I was just kind of like, oh, I just, I don't know. And I wasn't willing to spend $28 on a concealer that I was just unsure about. So when the VIB sale came along, I was like, you know what I'm getting. I got the shade Fair Neutral. Okay, but I do really like this and it really brightens my under eyes, believe it or not. I like the color match so far. Still forming opinions on everything else. I will get back to you. So there was one thing that I had been wanting for a really long time, not super badly, but just kind of like looking at it every time I walked past the aisle and being like, that would be really nice. I would really like that. And so I got it. And this is the Tarte. This is the Tarte Swirl Power Cheek Brush. It's a contour brush. And so I used it today to kind of chisel this out. So you can really like get in there and then blend it up a little bit, blend it on the temples, blend it on your forehead, get it under here. It's really, really dense and I love this handle because I feel like you just get like a really good grip. And you know, when you're contouring, you gotta have that. So yeah, I'm really glad that I bought this. I can totally see this becoming one of my favorite brushes. The next thing I got is another brush that I am super excited about because I had walked past it like a thousand times in Sephora and just been like, wow, those are, those are on a whole other level than me. And this is the Hakuhodo collaboration, I'm guessing, with Sephora. The brush that I got is the Small Teardrop Pointed Highlighter Brush. And here is what it looks like. Can we just take a moment? Like this red handle, the black matte little... This part. <laughs> and the brush itself is... It's probably the softest brush that I have in my entire collection. This was like a faraway dream for me. And I was finally just like, you know what? It's mine. I'm making my dreams come true. It's really dense, but it still has give to it, so you can really dig into the product and like pack it on, and then you can like blend it out really nicely too. So I am loving this brush so far. I've only used it once, but I can tell that it is a keeper. So the final thing that I got that I debated probably for about 20 minutes on was the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. And these powders do not come cheap. And honestly, this was just in a Products I Regret video that I did, but it was in a different color, but I really, really like the formula of it. So I saw this online, and this is one of the ones that's not in the palette that they sell. I put this underneath my eyes the other day and it kind of has these little sparklies in it. It's just like a white powder. I don't know if you're even going to be able to see it but do you see that actually? It just has like this nice white to it that like really highlights underneath my eyes and reflects the light just beautifully. I don't know how it looks on camera yet because I haven't tried it but it has like these little tiny sparkles, but it's really, really finely milled, so you don't even really tell that um, that it's it doesn't look like glitter all over your face is what I'm trying to say. And I pretty much love this already. 
If there's anything else that you want me to go more in depth about or do a review on, please let me know and leave me a comment down below. Yeah, so overall I was super happy with everything that I got in my haul besides the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, but I'm just going to return that because why wouldn't I? It was $40 or something like that. Yeah, so leave me a comment of what you bought at Sephora for your VIB or VIB Rouge sale or just the most recent thing that you got at Sephora because I'm curious what other people are buying right now and I want to see what I should get next. Also, if you are not yet subscribed, why? Why aren't you subscribed to me? Don't you love me? Don't you want to be my friend? Alright, so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Because you get, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. You get seven neutral shades. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder. Yeah, so overall I was... What is this? Why do you always do this? Mm. Elvis? Is that a ghost? <laughs>